Welcome to Fargo, North Dakota. I am here, my first time ever, for the Drone Focus Con, which is a drone focused conference. But hey, that's where they got their name. Anyway, I'm going to take you through the whole conference and I want to show you guys what it looks like starting with tonight's speaker dinner at the Fargo Air Museum. And I think for a UAS or drone conference, this is very fitting. I mean, it's a nice contrast between the manned aerial systems and the unmanned aerial systems. UASs, UAVs, drones, whatever you call them. It's the changing of the times. We're sneaking into the back hangar so we can check out more of the planes. But even more interesting is they have this huge drone. Gosh, this thing is incredible. It, it dwarfs the planes next to it. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Now you can't actually film with a drone in Fargo, so this is me doing my best attempt to get some aerial footage for you guys. Yeah. All right, day two. Let's do this, Fargo. I think this is the first conference I've ever attended. I mean, I've been to the auto show, but this is the first conference I've come to as an attendee. Business cards, check. Extra batteries, check. Name tag, check. Look at this thing, look how cool this is. The future is now. All right, let's go check this thing out. I know I'm in a short sleeve shirt and I probably should be dressed up a little bit more, but I heard last night that this is North Dakota and it's a little bit more relaxed and the only people you'll see in a suit are politicians. You know, like the mayor, the governor, the senators. So they should be easy to pick out. By the flashy lights. Right there. <laughs> really everything in the drone industry is being showcased here, whether they're marketing companies that offer videography, or they do geotagging and mapping and 3D mapping, or they build drones like these guys and they brought a cage so they can fly and show how it works, or you have the toy drones and racing drones. That would be this booth here. Everything that you could want to know about drones, how they work, how they're built, how they're flown. It's all here. So as I always promised, I wanted to get you guys on stage here today. And in fact, we have the organizer, Greg himself, who was presenting. I'm just gonna show you where we are. This is the audience. This is the Civic Center. Quite a large, impressive space. How's the crowd? Oh, it's good. I mean, not everybody likes my jokes, but my wife, my family, they don't like them either. Right, uh, so, so you're I feel at home. I feel very at home. Well, but, perfect. But these people are smart. I've been amazed at the amount of different nationalities that are here. Just at the willingness to share. I think sometimes in, in big businesses, we compete, we don't share, we don't, but people are sharing strategies. They're helping each other out. I think it's really fun. So I see this conference as really having two main parts. One, you have your big sessions that are on the big stage where you have your big speakers come about everything from policy making, how UASs can be used in civil business as well as military purposes and, and, and really anything and everything. And so it's great for me to sit in and be able to learn other aspects that I maybe necessarily hadn't thought of or hadn't done much research into. But the second area that I almost find more valuable are these breakout sessions, these lunch workshops and the workshops in the afternoon where they're smaller groups and they're more specific, they're more pointed. So you will have a breakout workshop on how to affect policy or how UASs work in business, which is one I'm gonna to go to because obviously my business includes UASs and drones. So the other people that are going to those workshops are really looking for more information on the same area that you are. And this is a great opportunity to be networking, meeting people in that same industry with the same interests that you have. This drone here has heat sensing equipment, which is showing me right there. So my camera is pretty cool. <laughs> Face is hot though. Yeah, real hot. What is going on? <laughs> it's like I've got a sunburn. 
And here we are, we have the band playing. We have a repurposed tire center. You can see the garage doors there. It's now an outdoor event space that they're using. So we have drone racing inside, a bar inside, but outside is where you get the Texas barbecue. What do we got? Now another big part of this conference, not only drones, but autonomous anything, autonomous vehicles, systems, etc. So Mazda, Fargo Mazda, Mazda yeah, of Fargo. Lundy Mazda of Fargo and Lundy Lincoln of Fargo. So we sell Lincolns and Mazdas, actually along with Kias as well. What we're in today is the 2018 Lincoln MKX. And it's going to self park. So we just hit, uh, tell the car that we want to park. And uh, when you hit this button, it'll default to searching on the right side of the road. Um, if you're on a one-way street, you can turn the left turn signal on and it will park on the left side as well. Okay. So it doesn't matter, left or right. So it pulls us up, well you're pulling us up next to this car essentially. Yep, and then it tells us on the screen that it's, a spot has been found, drive forward, and then eventually say stop, and you just follow the prompts again, taking your hands off the wheel, and all I'm doing is controlling how fast the movement happens by using the brake and the gas, the car is taking care of the rest, and we just follow the prompts on the screen. Wow. And you pull forward. And the maneuver was done in one try. Now, the car will do both a parallel park and a perpendicular park situation. So if you had cars sitting per perpendicular to you driving by them, once it found a spot, it would actually back the car into the spot itself. So parallel or perpendicular, it will do both jobs. Fantastic.